Kayla Buchanan. We're going to talk to Dr. Noreen about obesity. Let's go. Hi, my name is Dr. Narayan. I'm a pediatrician at the Newkirk location. I work with Maimonides Hospital and I work in primary care, but I also run a children's weight down program and I'm happy to speak to you. I have six questions for you today and I can't wait to hear your answer. So my first question is what mainly causes obesity? So there are many factors that cause uh, people to gain weight. While diet and lifestyle and sedentary habits are important, uh, but it is also genetic. Certain socioeconomic factors also affect weight gain. So people who live in neighborhoods where they do not have access to healthy foods, fresh fruit and vegetables, are more likely to buy processed food and which leads to weight gain because they're rich in calories. Also certain medications and our modern lifestyle where we have a sedentary lifestyle can lead to weight gain. How badly can obesity affect your health? So obesity can affect our health in many ways. It affects our physical health, where you know excessive weight can lead to heart disease, it can lead to diabetes, it can lead to uh, liver problems. Uh, emotionally, it can lead to low self-esteem, such kids are bullied in school, and it can lead to anxiety and depression too. Um, when teenagers are diagnosed with obesity, do they have to lose weight naturally or does it have to be done surgically? So it depends upon the amount of excessive weight they have. So if it's not too much, diet and exercise are the best options. But if you have a 16 year old who weighs 300 to 400 pounds, it's hard to lose all the extra weight just by diet and exercise. So then the said children are eligible for bariatric surgery or weight loss surgery. You kind of answered this question already, but is obesity genetic? Yes, obesity has been shown to be genetic. So if you have one parent who has excessive weight, then there's a 50% chance that the child will also gain weight. And if you have two parents who are obese, then the chances are 80%. How much do teens usually weigh when diagnosed with obesity? So for children, it's a little different from adults. There is no specific weight because it's your weight for your height based on your age. And that's the reason you should go to a pediatrician. We create something called a BMI, which is a ratio for your weight for your height. And they are going to measure height and weight and plot it on graphs and tell you where you are. My last question for you today is, can obesity affect pregnancy or fertility? Yes, it can affect, especially in girls. Obesity leads to irregular periods, which affects the fertility. That's all for today. Thank you for answering my questions, Dr. Nareen. Thank you. It was wonderful talking to you today. We just finished talking to Dr. Noreen about your questions and mine about obesity. Okay. Hope you enjoyed.